kind of messing up with him. Uh, mainly that he wasn't really, he would gamble with the, the buster mode. Right. Not really, not really trying to abuse him in, in shield mode because it does do extra shield damage. Right. Um, but he would just kind of take like the short end of the stick of, the, of that. Ooh, the parry into the up be nice, but the laser punish from Wadi. Got to be careful of using those up B punishes at lower percents. Spoke, uh, just poking with that back air, and now here comes the buster mode. And like I said, every single time I see Nico go into buster mode, he always seems to get hit more than he hits his opponent. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's like low-key justified in this game, though, because you can switch into shield monado at, uh, oh, during, like, during hit stun. Yeah, so it's right. like, you, you can go into buster, and th this is one thing that's actually kind of crazy about show. You go into buster monado art, and then it's like, oh, I got hit. Like, switch into shield monado art, and I'm good. Oh, gets the air dodge, but not quick enough to get the punish, the down throw. Wadi just waiting it out. Probably could have up smash there, but a I mean, mix up. He was probably just like trying to see how Nico is going to react to these yeah. down throws, and then just gathering data at this point. But good use of Nair into a back air. Woo! It's going to send Wadi really far off stage, even though he's only at 90. He's chasing down with a smash mode. <laughs> oh, man. I I cannot even explain the amount of greed there was in that play. Like, But I... I, I respect it. Nico is definitely a player that lives and dies by the sword. That's right. By, by the sword and by the hype. He was <laughs> trying to make plays right there. It yeah. didn't quite work out. But you know what? There's still a little bit more time to see what Nico can bring to the table. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we definitely still got, you know, two more stocks to go. But, I mean, that that was just baller. Like, I'm, I'm like, switch to Smash Mouth, like, falling off stage, like, yo! <laughs> like, that's, that's I mean, so like, sick. even if he had gotten the sour hit of the downer, it still would have probably launched him <laughs> really far and maybe got a stage fight. That... Uh, air Slash, though, was definitely more than enough in Smash Mode. <laughs> yeah, and um, Wadi definitely... I have talked to Wadi about Rob, and he definitely thinks um, one thing that isn't really ex being exploited about Rob, uh, two things, actually, is people aren't getting... or aren't really good at parrying his uh, neutral... Oh, oh, he's dead. He's dead. Maybe? Oh, nope, man, he, oh, he actually almost made it. He did almost make he, it. That was, like, kind of close. If, if he had bigger magnets... Yeah, he Smash 4 magnets it. definitely <laughs> would have made that. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, Wadi's just doing a great job of keeping Nico off stage, even uh, with both recoveries, sniping it out with uh, the gyro, then get landing an S smash yeah. as uh, Nico started to float back to the ledge. Yeah, most people would have froze up in that situation. Wadi knew exactly what he needed to do to take the stock there. Ooh, what was that? That? Mm, that was clean. And the Smash Monado fair. I don't care if you're Rob. I don't care however you are. You're dead at 80. I mean, that Smash mode is ridiculous. Yeah. The fact that game, you can just chain nares into smash mode fair Ugh. okay nightmares yep and that i think that's definitely one of the changes you can uh, grab ledge after side beam oh you got to watch out though wadi and I, I feel like uh both of these players and just the, like this matchup in general they've just been edge guarding each other like that's where most of the stocks and most of the damage is coming from well, you know there's one tool that we haven't seen wadi abuse just yet oh good fair to be out the uh the cross slash or Oh wait, Buster Monado Art is going to be big damage here. The side tilt not going to connect. What's the ledge trap here? The back air, unsafe, but Mwadi not going to get punished. Just a couple rolls and then that'll get him across the stage. Speed mode online. You know that Nico is just trying to space out on dash dance. Oh, he gets the hit though. Double nair. The fair doesn't connect though. Oh, gets the shield on the um, Wadi's neutral though, but no punish. Good down tilt. We'll just give, uh, give Wadi a little bit of space. And now with shield mode. Uh, it's going to be a few seconds before Wadi can actually try and get a kill option. Good down throw. It's going to mix up uh, and waste a little bit of time on that shield mode as well. There's the jump. Monado Art going to just use the up B to get back on the stage. The back air not going to connect here. Wadi, oh, gets hit by the forward air. But where are the side Bs from Wadi? We saw so many side Bs on uh, Saturday at Heart of Battle coming oh, out from Wadi. The up throw? Yeah. Oh damn! I was like for a second, I was like, "Is it it though?" Like, all right, but I feel like if uh, if Smash, if Shield Mode wasn't on cooldown, he probably would have lived. He probably would have lived. <laughs> yeah, I mean, very close there. We saw just brutal edge guards on both part, both ends right there. And that's one thing, um, you know, I I didn't really notice is yeah, Wadi hasn't really been uh, he's been a little bit more reserved with his uh side B usage, and that is definitely a really good edge guarding tool. Yes. But maybe Nico is just sinking really low. So Wadi doesn't want it. I feel like edge guarding low with Rob side B, that's where it gets risky because the move just lasts so long. Yes. Um, I usually see Wadi call out people's like early jumps in those situations. So I'm maybe just, just looking for it in more of a uh, like even like ledge trap traps. Yeah, because yeah, it's like traps. a long lasting move. Yeah, I've definitely seen Wadi like catch a normal get up or jump with that. Oh man. Okay, so that Nico just making, worked. Nico making good use of Buster Mode this time. 
now with Smash Mode, even though that, that robbed the robot, uh, he's still in danger from this Smash Mode. Yeah, and I like Wadi just stalling out on that uh, Smash Monado art there. If you got reverse uh, upbeat, that definitely would have been it. There's the up tilt, but no Smash Monado art on that um, right now. Nico keeping up the pressure, but Wadi returning it right back to him. I like the forward throw. Instead of going for a mix-up, let's just go for some type of ledge guard or an edge trap. And that, oh, and there's the up out of shield, too. That's something else you have to respect. There's a Smash Monado art. I Ooh, mean, sniped. Yeah, and that, that was really good because uh, he actually looked like he wanted to go off stage there, so kind of forwarded that option. Oh, and the up smash. Oh, wow, he's able to switch off the Smash Monado art just in time. Here's the down smash. Oh, and the up air will connect. Wadi, of course, very adept at scouting out these options, especially out of the down throw. And he was looking for it, and he found it when Nico was, uh, was trying to get away. And Nico trying to catch this landing here with the down tilt. Oh, but here comes some damage here. Up throw forward air coming out from Wadi, landing in there, but great DI coming out from Nico. Another up throw into a forward air. And just ledge trap. Airs at the airs at the ledge and trying to jump over it. Nico yeah. throwing out an air, make forcing Wadi to respect it. Ooh, and there's the backup, but Wadi just so it's cross stage and oh wow, no jump in there. Oh, oh, back air. <laughs> Talk about a reversal. Yeah, and Wadi was, okay, but Nico coming back. Going to get the stock with the backer, but man, can we talk about that edge guard right there? I mean, it, it was like Wadi was getting edge guarded, really tricky, stalled out, got the nair, and then just sealed it out with the backer. What a play. Now he's up an entire stock with Nico with the down throw into the forward smash in Bustle Monaro art. This is going to do so much damage. That's right. I mean, now with the dash attack, it's not looking good for Nico, but Nico using speed mode, able to stay in Wadi's face. Wow, oh, the wow, gyro the interrupted <laughs> the cross up. Yeah, <laughs> the gyro actually kind of like low key betrayed him though. Oh, the sus, the eye on the down air. Wadi's going to be exiting stage right. But still, 88%. That's no, uh, that's no number. That's a pretty big number. Oh, the jumping oh. art. You don't want to be in that art when you're getting hit off the top. You become very, very light. And Nico, he wanted to switch the jump so he could like kind of defuse that situation, get out of that juggle situation, maybe just get burn his double jump and get out of there. But Wadi was too fast on the trigger. That's right. Just a few frames too late. And you know what? A few frames can mean a lifetime in this game. Yeah. yeah. And I, it, it's just... Unfortunate because if Nico has switched to Shield Monado in that particular oh, situation, he would have still been fine. be in that game. Yeah, so I mean, that's why this character is insane. Shulk is absolutely crazy, but it it's such a high skill cap character. Um, very similar to like someone like Peach, where you got to put a lot of time into the character to get the uh, results. Okay, recognizing that uh, Nico was in Buster mode, just going for the easy oh, damage. Oh, triple fair. Do you have the double jump? No, you don't, and that will be a gimp. Wadi just doing the fair train right off stage. That's right. What a strong start for Wadi, especially with game three. You know, only two more stocks for him to advance into losers finals. Yeah, and I mean, like I said, I'm not, I'm not too sure if there are um, other like Shulk mains at you know Nico's level where Wadi is uh, in the MDB area, but uh, it definitely seems like he's familiar with the matchup, or just he's like learning it that quick. And I mean, Wadi is an amazing player. So. Wadi is definitely a top player in this game. Okay, we finally see a side B. Uh, didn't quite work out for him. Maybe why uh, we actually haven't been seeing too many of just because Shul can actually outspace it. Yeah, I mean, he's got, he's got the sword. Um, the uh, He has a really... Oh, and the... Mm, okay, I mean... Yeah, early percent, early percent. Yeah, it was early. Oh, oh, but that was not early enough! Dang it, I mean, even if it's early... Oh, there's a side B. Gonna get punished. Oh, very nice. Almost into the re-grab as well. I respect it. There's a shield Monado switch. and But you know what? We're going to take all this <laughs> damage. Three yeah, up airs in a row. <laughs> you ain't going anywhere? Fine. You're going to eat more damage. And um, with these new Monado arts, uh, when you do hit Shulk in the shield art, it does burn like meter. The meter will burn off the Monado. So not only was Wadi getting like damage, he was also burning the shield Monado art. Oh, with Smash Mode, you know. Ooh, dang, the aggressive option. But he's not going to make it back. Oh, man, unfortunate I don't there. think that was worth yeah, definitely not worth there. I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't his intent to go that deep. Um, the little miscalculation coming out from Nico, but not the end of the world, but it will be the end of his second stop. That's right, and with a lot of nares trying to convert into the side B. Hasn't been able to land it on Nico yet, uh, but you know what? Kudos for trying. And right now, Wadi actually going on the offense here with the dash attacks and the forward airs here. How will 
And you go seal out this dog, man. Oh, and even we got the off the backboard, though. Mm -hmm. Off the backboard. Looking like uh, some Pac-Man combos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dang. And all these trades in favor of Wadi, as long as he's holding on to this second stock. The up tilt still not enough. Looks like Nico is going to have to call upon the Smash Monado art to get this stock. The up B not going to connect. Mm -hmm. And even though he, only, he did the up B, uh, Wadi still respected the recovery of the of the landing. Ooh, I like the swiftness on that air dodge there, but here's some damage. Okay, gonna get the shield. Okay, into the grab here. Okay, Buster Mo, he's go big damage time for Nico. Yeah, he's got him on the ledge as well. This is a really good position here for Nico. Gonna react to the normal get up into the that. Yeah, and just like that, one ledge trap sequence and it just with the Buster Monado art and so much damage. Nico bringing this one right back. The backer going right through the top, switching into the jump Monado art though. Yeah, but a good neutral B. That laser gonna just take Nico off the stage. And the side B not working out for Wadi again. Yeah, he probably could have shielded through that anyway. The backer gonna catch the ledge roll there, and Nico going to survive in this best of five set. I mean, what a game for him to turn it around. Game yeah. three, he was down a full, complete stock after making uh, a very aggressive uh, play that didn't work out in his favor. And because of the Buster mode, because Nico is so aware of the of his character, he was able to bring that back. Yeah, and I mean that's the thing about Shulk. When when you use and apply the right Monado arts at the right time, it's just it it can get really out of hand. It can get really really ridiculous. I mean, and we, we just saw that. <laughs> yeah. and I mean, just that like he got like maybe two to three solid reads slash reactions on the ledge with the Buster Monado art, and it was just so much damage Wadi took, and it was just very that whole last dog was just very overwhelming. That's the power of Monado, baby. Yeah, I mean the Monados are very much stronger in this game so uh <laughs> you can definitely see shulk doing a lot more stuff oh I like the spacing coming out from nico he was really spacing out with those f tilt and the forward airs now nico uh, wadi finally able to get back on stage but jump mode comes out for nico Ooh, okay the nair oh, oh yeah like i said the shield oh <laughs> he poked <laughs> through the ledge with the down air <laughs> Is, is this stage in my way? I don't care. I got a laser sword. I mean, I thought we picked this stage over Pokemon Stadium 1 just so instances like that wouldn't happen. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and you already know, man. Uh, Nico definitely, uh, that was definitely intentional. He definitely tried to snipe him through the stage and was able to steal out his stock, like, what, around 50, 60% right yeah, there. Yeah, totally. And we had seen Nico doing that earlier in the set. We thought it maybe it was just trying to catch, like, a, a two-frame or, like, hit the ledge grab. Mm -hmm. But that was... That would just clearly show what he was going for. That was big brain play coming out from Nico. Oh yeah, and you, you got to have the big brain to play, play Shulk. Like this man played Shulk in uh, Smash Four as well. So it definitely took uh, his character wasn't as good in Smash Four. Definitely received a lot of buffs, and I'm, I'm really glad to see uh, Nico's character like really, really strong because Shulk's just really intricate and interactive. So I feel like it's very fun to watch. Too. See Buster Mode coming out from Nico again. We actually saw Wadi retreat a little bit just because we he knows how much uh, power Nico has with Buster Mode. Yes. Yeah, and even just like, it's kind of like Olimar in terms of just resources. Like, oh, like, there, this art is out. Like, he could be looking for this kind of kill setup or kill move. Kind of like if you see a blue Pikmin, you're like, all right, well, I definitely can't get grabbed or I'm dead. <laughs> That's right. And now uh, Nico kind of has majority of his, his uh, arts on cooldown. Okay, yeah, Speed Monado Art gonna be dwindling down here soon, and yeah, Wadi just waiting it out, and that, that Monado Art is gonna be Nico's main one for getting in on Wadi, so if Wadi could keep him out with the, the speed, I mean, it's, it's gonna be hard for Nico to get in with all the other ones. That's right, Shield Mode falling off at the wrong time, but now we're gonna see an up throw. Oh, wait, wow, that wasn't even close. <laughs> Ooh, I like the recovery from Nico, just using his second jump and nearing right in front of Wadi, allowing him to get back on stage, now Speed Mode, Weaving in and out, oh. but an up air will catch Nico. Yeah, right there. Really good call out on that jump. Wadi knew he was kind of fishing around, waiting for that falling aerial, and Wally Wadi willing to make the call out with the up air and gonna seal out that second stock. Now Nico with no rage here, gonna have to seal out the second stock coming out from Wadi, and all that time Wadi's gonna be wanting to rack up the damage. And racking up the damage he is doing jump mode, but a big forward air is gonna reward Nico with stage control. Okay, here's another down throw here. What's the read? Tries to get the up tilt off the pumble, but Nico really, really quick on that pumble. Especially being in jump mode, it's going to make it really difficult for just like an up tilt or even an up air to catch Nico. Oh, oh what? No. no. The directional air dodge there. I hate to see it end like.